Now we are going to learn how to grade the discussion forum. You will want to ensure that you have your grading rubric in front of you. Your grading rubrics for discussion can be found in your course under the introductory documents, standard course syllabi and rubrics, and under discussion rubrics. You'll want to choose the appropriate rubric. We're currently working in a 100 level course, so we'll choose that one and this will pull up a PDF of the grading rubric. You could certainly save this to your desktop, you could print it out to have it in front of you, or you can tab back and forth between the course and the rubric, whatever you prefer. So now that we have our rubric in front of us, I'm going to go back to our course and click on the Weeks button, and you'll want to choose the week that you would like to grade. Then we're going to go into Week 5, and click on the discussion title and this will bring up the forum then you want to click on grade discussion forum and you'll see all of the students so we'll start in, with Christy we'll go in order and we'll click grade and this will bring up Christy's initial post as well as any responses that she provided to her peers. So, after you've read through Christie's post and responses and you've compared it to the grading rubric criteria, you'll want to go ahead and provide Christie with her grade. Now, to do that, you can click right in here, the grade box, and let's say Christie did a really good job and nailed the conversation and she got a 100. You just want to type in a 100 and then in the feedback to learner box is where you want to provide Christy with your feedback. Now obviously she did a great job so you want to tell her that but it's also important that you share with Christy why she did a great job and this is where the rubric comes into play. So Christy obviously fell in the excellent category so you want to tell her why she did such a great job because we hope that she'll do it again the following week. So you can type in here great job and then proceed to go into detail on what she did right. So for example if we go back to our rubric she submitted her initial post on time and she addressed it she addressed the discussion questions in good detail and met all content requirements in the directions and her word count is over 150 words. So that's some of the feedback that you could give to Christy. So once you do that and you type in your feedback, you want to hit submit and this little green box pops up and says the grade was saved successfully and you're good to go. So to go on to the next student all you have to do is click this arrow right next to Christy's name and this will bring up your next student who's Nancy Drew and her discussion. So you'll just want to do the same thing for Nancy. She also did a great job. Provide your detailed feedback according to the rubric and hit submit. And again you'll see the grade was saved successfully. Now if you have any questions or concerns please do not hesitate to reach out to your program manager. Thanks very much.